All right, boys and girls. So today we are going to try to clean these puppies up. We're gonna to try to get the water system sort of plumbed out uh, in terms of putting on the water necks in the front and the rear. We're not doing a coolant reroute because it's kind of expensive and we're kind of broke because that was an expensive build. So we'll revisit the coolant reroute later, but uh, let's just get everything set up and ready to go inside the car. So I have these two necks here. One of them is from the 99 motor and one of them is from the 04 motor. As you can see, they turn this into a really nice smooth bend there. And the old one was just kind of like a 90 degree butt joint and just psh. Yeah, so I'm gonna end up using this one, but I wanna clean it off first. I'm gonna take the tube off of this one here and get the uh, O-ring, uh, the new O-ring that I got with the water pump on that end. But first, of course, we're going to clean, like we clean everything, one more time. Okay, cool. Now let's get our gaskets and OTV, gaskets and RTV, and get it on our block. All right, so we got our little o ring off of there. Now let's clean this bad boy up a little bit. Here we go, let's get that on, no damage. Okay, let's get some RTV on there, get this bad boy on, and then get it on our motor. And then we've got to find the right bolts to go in on that. Oh, I shouldn't have put on the... Um, look at me, working harder instead of smarter. But yeah, it goes in right there. Just. Get it in. I'm gonna take this all off now to try to make that work. Okay, so for the rear neck, we're gonna do the same thing. We've got our gasket here. We've got our neck and this bit right here. So let's pull this tape off. Get our bolts out. If you are running a coolant reroute, this is the time when you put your thermostat in there and then get your larger thermostat cover here with your output for your uh, heater core and your motor or whatever you're doing with your special setup. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but I'm just gonna keep it simple and go with the stock parts. No reroute until we uh, can afford one. <laughs> You don't want to over torque these, it's aluminum, so be gentle. You could strip it out very easily and have a very bad day. So we're gonna do the same thing in the front, quick and dirty. But this time I'm gonna put my thermostat right here. So for my build, I went with the uber expensive 177 degrees Celsius uh, Mishimoto thermostat. Now when you install these, you want to make sure the little bung thing there is at the top. And then you want to get your neck. Yep. 
Same thing, it's aluminum, so be gentle. And then we crank the factory torque spec on the back and the front. I'm gonna plug it with this rag, just so we can keep everything out of there until we get it in the car. And the same thing with the back. Okay, in the rear, we also have our uh, sensor, if we're on a later model. For the uh, earlier NAs, the sensor is in the front, I believe, and threads right into here. But I'm gonna put some Teflon tape on there first to make sure that we have a good seal with our threads. And that's on, and then we crank on that just a little bit. All right. Now I think she's ready to go in the car. I'm not gonna put on the exhaust manifold and the turbo and all that until we get it inside the car because we haven't actually test fit how the turbo sits as well as the downpipe and all those fixings. So let's get her in first and then we can worry about those things. <laughs> 